Don, speaking of Dennis Alexio, who, of course, was in the film Kickboxer, Correct. some people yeah. want to know why and speculate and they wonder, why didn't you guys ever have a rematch? Hey guys, I seen some comments in different videos and people were talking about why didn't Don Wilson have the rematch with Dennis Alexio and people were even insinuating maybe Don was scared and didn't want anything to do with it. Well, we're going to find out with this interview with Don and of course, talk about and break down the initial fight with the Dragon, Don the Dragon Wilson and the Terminator, Dennis the Terminator Alexio. So that was a great fight. And we're going to find out so many amazing details. Before we get into that amazing story, though, I want to point out a great supplement company that helped me recently get in the best shape of my life. Check out my Instagram, Rope Hiking Samurai. You can see some cool pictures and videos of my recent beach vacation. But these products work. Click the link to find out more about First Form. I highly recommend that. In fact, I can actually help you guys get in the best shape of your lives, too. Check out my new Facebook group. I can even be an advisor, but I want to do it through the app that this company has because it basically gives you all this information. You could calculate your calories, do all this, has great training programs, and I can advise you through it and even help you more. Anyway, click the link, find out more about that, join the Facebook group, and I'm actually going to help Tong Po, Muhammad Kisi, get back into fighting shape and have a potential match against none other than Don the Dragon Wilson. Regardless, it's great for anybody to get in the shape, whether it's me for a vacation, whether it's Muhammad for a potential match against Don Wilson, whether it's you because you want to look amazing on the beach or just in your regular life when you get out of the shower. So anyway, click the link, check out the supplements, and if you want me to be your advisor, download the app and choose Viking Samurai as your advisor. Oh, we were offered a rematch. We were offered a rematch by uh, Scott Coker, who is the... Um a very, very uh, big promoter and yeah, sure. promotes a lot of um, uh, world championship fights in uh, Northern California. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was up there making an appearance and, and Alexio was at the same time. So Scott Coker got the idea to make an offer to us to fight the rematch. Now, when you have a rematch, first of all, you um, let, let's go back to the first fight and, and just discuss what happened in that fight. I, in 28 years, never pulled out of a fight once I signed a contract. I never backed out of the fight. It's called backing out of the fight. Like you said, listen, I, I can't do it. And the only reason you would do it is for injury or sickness. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of fighters backing out for any other reason? No. I mean, what, what, what is the legitimate reason you can sign a contract and have them start promoting a fight? And then, and then a week before the fight, you call up and say, I'm pulling out. <laughs> Give me a reason. You know, I'm pulling out because what? I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> no, Oscar De La Hoya pulled out of a fight recently, an uh, exhibition fight, because he caught COVID. Bro, well, okay, and I, that I, makes I don't sense, think yeah. you test positive. I don't know if the commission even allows you to fight. Mm. I'm not sure. But um, he got COVID. Now, this fight with Alexio is the only one I back. I, I called up the promoter a week for the fight. I had the flu bad i was mm -hmm. right in the middle of it and um i said i can't fight there's no way that there's fever and i'm uh, and, and he said don this is nbc sports world you signed the contract and we've got all it set up he said if you pull out of this it's going to really damage kick the sport of kickboxing not yeah. just yourself it's going to really damage the sport of kickboxing and um you know i thought about it and then alexio you know he was a young fighter he had never really fought any name opponents Mm -hmm. And so I thought, you know, I can ask, I can still outpoint him. I've got the experience. I'll fight him, even though I'm sick. And people ask me, they said, well, on the day of the fight, you know, come on, how sick were you? And I said, I'm, I'll tell you how sick I was. Before the fight, the day before the fight, I get a knock on my door in my hotel room. And it's Chuck Norris standing over there with his wife. And he said, oh. Don, I want to take you to the best rest seafood restaurant in, in uh, Miami. Because that's where the fight was. And I said, Chuck. I'm laying in bed with Vicks Vapor Rub. I'm sweating. I'm weak as a baby. My head is killing me. I, my nose was plugged up. It was one of the main things. Because if you have a plugged up nose, it's hard once you stick that mouthpiece in there. I, I mean, it, it messes you up your breathing. So mm -hmm. I said, Chuck, I, I can't I, I can't get out of bed. I, I got to try to sleep. And, and he said, well, how are you going to fight? And I said, I'm just going to go out there and do the best I can. I said, I couldn't pull out of this fight. I explained it to him, you know, exactly as I explained to you that uh, – uh, it would hurt kickboxing really bad. Yeah, and, sure. and Howard Hansen would, would say, I would never get a network contract again if you mm. pull out of it. So that's how sick I was. I, I was too sick to have dinner with Chuck Norris. Now, how that, sick That's you crazy. Who turns that down? Uh, the, the other no martial not. artist would. I would not do that to Chuck Norris. And um, uh, the thing is, um, 
I used strategy to beat Dennis Alexio. He was all over me. I never said, oh, that was an easy fight. I just breezed right through it. And, no, that was a tough fight. He was a tough, he was undefeated. You know, I, I fought many, set, well, not many, but several undefeated fighters mm -hmm. before they fought me. He has a record of 16 wins, no losses, 15 knockouts, 7 TKOs. He was one of them. Now, that leads lead you to think certain things. He, he's like w one of the better guys up and coming. But there, there, there are many guys who he had not fought the level of fighters that I fought. So he's undefeated. But it's like I tell you about Frank Dukes. Frank Dukes is undefeated. Oh, yeah. 300 something fights and zero losses. Oh, there is something I want to point out that I don't think a lot of people knew. So Frank Dukes was actually not undefeated. That just goes to show like anybody can lose a fight. You got to watch this video. We talked about that, Frank and I. So anyway, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, man, you got to subscribe. Who else is giving you these stories? I got, I got the only Frank Dukes lost him talking about it. We got Don talking about Dennis Alexio. There's so many amazing things on here, man. So subscribe and share this channel to your martial arts and action movie friends. But when you ask them what the names of the guys, you don't, and same with Alexio. I, I looked over his record, and he had never fought one person that anybody had ever heard of. Mm. So it, it helped me convince myself I'll take the fight anyway. So here's what happens. We go to the weigh-in, and the weigh-ins are the day of the fight. And um, it's in the morning. I go there. He's, uh, I think, seven pounds overweight. Wow. He goes to the promoter, and he tells the promoter, promoter says, well, you got to – the promoter comes to me and goes, hey, he's overweight. But, you know, will you allow it? I said, no. I'm not defending my title against a guy who's seven pounds overweight. Mm -hmm. The promoter goes off. He talks for a while with a couple of people. He comes back to me and goes, and now the promoter's the, the president of the association. He's Howard Hansen, the WKA president. And he comes back and he goes, um, I'm going to invent a new weight division. This is going to be really good for you, Bob. <laughs> I go, invent a new weight division? He goes, yes, it's called super light heavyweight. And you guys are going to fight for that title. And he said, if you win, you get another world title, Don. And I looked at Howard. I said, Howard, I don't need another world title. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a light heavyweight. I'm not super light heavyweight. The cruiserweight title with Maurice Smith was, was a fluke as well. I thought Maurice was dieting down to come down to light heavyweight. So mm -hmm. I was confident. Even though he won the title with a roundhouse kick to a guy's head, knocked him out. I fought Maurice Smith in Japan. He was like, I don't know how many pounds over my head. 10, 12, something like that. And I did it in the last minute, just so the fight would happen in Japan. Yeah, sure. So I'm doing the same thing now. I'm, I'm letting the fight go, even though he did not make my weight. And um, so he never did fight me at my weight, Dennis Alexia. Never okay. did. He, he, they allowed him to come in overweight, whatever the limit was for super light heavyweight. But I think it was around 182, it might have been, something like that. One, I have to look over, you know, old karate magazines or something to, to find out what they, because look, that there's no such thing as super light heavyweight. They just got rid of it. It was invented for <laughs> sports world. And so that's one of the world titles I won. You know, people ask me, oh, yeah, I won 11 of them. But that's how bizarre it was and how shady things can happen to make fights happen is they invented a weight division. So, so he never did make my weight. So we fight and I, I learned early on by throwing the, the first leg kick I threw when he did not make any attempt to block it. The only reason you would do that is you don't know how to block them properly. Mm -hmm. that, 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 there's no reason to take a leg kick. <laughs> you know, just let me kick. And he did. He didn't budget. I went, whack. I did. He ripped my shin right on the thigh. So basically, I, I kicked him in the leg. Oh, oh good that, leg kick that by Tom Wilson. Now, he, listen, he's a tough guy. He took it for 12 rounds. Of course, he canceled his airline ticket the next day because he couldn't fly home. He couldn't even walk. <laughs> wow. I've had that happen several times to, to my opponents. Wow. They can't their airline tickets. Yeah, they usually you fly out the next day after the fight. But they couldn't walk in the they, airport. They can give them the wheelchair service, though, right? <laughs> you know what? They, they could. I, I, you know what? They, as far as I know, he could have asked for it. Mm -hmm. But rather than that, they, you know, that. I don't think he could have walked maybe to the car to the wheelchair. <laughs> He's in bad shape. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, 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 well, he, he had two guys carry him into um, the, the lounge where Chuck, Chuck and I were in a lounge and he sat down with us. Mm -hmm. But he had guys carry him and help him to, to sit in his chair, Dennis Alexio. So, so anyway, 
the, 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 these are the behind the scenes stories that people don't have any idea what's, what's going on. I fought that fight with the flu. And um, actually they mentioned that the announcers mentioned that. Uh, this fight was almost canceled because of Wilson having the flu about 10 days back. Question is, is that going to have an effect on him? In the, there are there two different versions of the announcing because NBC had their own announcers. They had Randall Tex Cobb and um, a boxing, but the, Randall is also a kickboxer. Okay. And um, uh, another uh, professional announcer for NBC. And then WKA got the rights to the video and they, Howard Hansen and Howard Jackson, if you know Howard Jackson, he's a former world champion. And basically he was also uh, Chuck Norris's, um, but his title was bodyguard, mm -hmm. but, but really wasn't bodyguard. He, he, he basically just trained with Chuck, Howard Jackson. He was a, he was a former world champion kickboxer. You can look up his record. He's a great guy. He's passed away. Uh, but Howard Jackson was the uh, color commentator. And um, they, they definitely, you know, they, 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 you can just look at the fight yourself. What, the, the leg is a target area. And I hit it so hard. I mean, he's limping in the ring. I mean, he's like hardly, you can see him. He was in pain. And... Um, so, Which happened to him in the movie Kickboxer against Tom Poe, funny enough. <laughs> well, so I they kind of put that I, in the I, movie. I saw, I'm saw. i sure I saw the movie when it came out. Oh, yeah. I, I would have hoped so, man. I don't remember that, though. No! That's gotta hurt! The question, yeah. why didn't you guys actually have the rematch? Okay, Scott Coker offered us, and I'll tell you the exact amount. There's no reason to hide it. Scott Coker said, listen... I don't have a lot of money. I don't have enough for both of these, but I got 25,000 winner take all. And I said, done. And I shook his hand right there on the spot. Dennis was, we we're both sitting next to each other, the three of us at one of Scott Coker's events. And he's making an offer. Promoters mm -hmm. making an offer. And uh, I said, yes, come in. Because I knew for a fact I'd be him. I knew for a fact I would. Don Wilson definitely won the fight by showing his strategic abilities and his desire to maintain his title. But I beat him when I was sick. Yeah, yeah, sure. If you're not sick, I mean, you're much better. You know what? That gives me confidence. Oh, yeah. Right? Now, he would have to drop back down to 175, which he never made anyway. <laughs> and so for him, it's, it's not the, you know, it's not going to be, that fight's not going to be an easy thing. So he looks and he, at Scott Coker, and this is the way he put it is, I don't fight like that. I don't, I don't, I'm a professional. I don't fight in, in those terms. Mm. Winner take all. And that's what, what, why he was saying he wouldn't do it. He wanted a guaranteed amount. Mm -hmm. But but I think he was thinking, shoot, I could fight him and walk away with nothing. Yeah. Well, not even and, walk you know, away. Remember what happened with the first fight? He wasn't even able to walk away. So he'd not even walk away with nothing. <laughs> no. Listen, listen. What he did was this. What he did was this. He, in front of Chuck and me, uh, I, I asked, like, look, I offered him a rematch that night in the nightclub of the hotel okay. with Chuck Norris sitting next to me. Mm -hmm. And he, I said, Dennis, I don't feel I perform my best. And, and, and I, I will gladly, before the end of the year, offer you a rematch because it was a close fight sure. and you deserve a shot at that title. And I said, I don't feel I did my best. And I, 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 I'm offering you a rematch for the end of the year. And he looks at me and he goes, he uses a curse word, the F word. He said, blank kickboxing. He goes, I'm going into boxing. Really? Interesting. Yes. Oh, because yeah, he can't I, walk. No, I didn't retire him from my weight. I, I, he was getting out of kickboxing, he said. Now, from what I understand, he had a couple of boxing matches, mm -hmm. but he realized he was not going to be a champion boxer. So he went back to kickboxing. But, but David, he went back to kickboxing, which does not allow leg kicks. Okay. At the time, Waist up not only, allow leg yeah. Kicks. Yeah, so it was... Which is, uh, you know, Johnny's Terrio fought that way his whole career, right? He never fought with leg kicks and knees, elbows, Muay Thai, whatever. And he's a great kickboxer. Uh, I, I take no, um, Chuck Nor or uh, Chuck George, uh, uh, Bill Wallace never fought with leg kicks. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing wrong with that. I, I, I still respect them as athletes. They, they, they went under the rules they fought under and became champions. So nothing wrong with Dennis that way. He, he did that. Now, when he decided to come back, he wasn't getting respect overseas because overseas they fight with leg kicks mm -hmm. in Europe and Japan and Thailand and, you know, all, all over the world, the leg kicks were becoming more and more popular. So Dennis thought he was going to fight with leg kicks again. So he takes a fight with a guy named Stan Longinitas. And in the first round, 
Stan kicks him in the leg, and, and literally, any leg kicker will tell you he did not block it properly, Alexio. He lifted his leg up instead of having it slanted at an angle. Mm -hmm. He was straight up and down, and Stan kicked it and broke his ankle. Ooh. And that was the end of the fight. Wow. So Dennis never got, you know, as a heavyweight, if you want to prove you're the best, you got to fight the best, correct? I mean, yeah, of course. That, that's okay. It, mountain climbing, if you want to prove you're the best mountain climber, you can't avoid the big Mount Everest. Mount Fuji, whatever. You you don't climb little hills all the time and say, hey, I'm the greatest <laughs> because I climbed this hill. and this. No, you've got to go. To, well, at the time when Alexio was a fighter, they had the K1 in Japan, mm -hmm. all heavyweights. Eight top heavyweights from around the world would fight. And the winner, I think at the beginning, the winner got like 150000 or two hundred. But it went up to, I, I think it went up to like $350,000. Wow. Yeah, yeah, the K1. I, you can just Google it and find out. But it was a, the most money you can make as a heavyweight. And all the top heavyweights were there trying to get it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, except of Dennis Alexia. <laughs> except, yeah, sure. <laughs> right. 